Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm doing a video on what is a NUC. Now if you don't know what a NUC is, please continue to watch this video. I will explain it the best I can. I'm also doing a collab with my son, who is going to be editing a lot of this video. If you like the changes, then please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Anyway, let's get started with the video. Hello everybody, this is Jacob. Uh, I'm Tackalicious' son. That's a really hard word to say. And uh, today we have a NUC which is a really tiny computer, so like your average computer, and, and then you have, and then you have the Nook. And I mean, it's actually not that bad for a, the, the size of this tiny little thing. I mean, it has an i5 and some other good stuff in it, and I mean, it has some ports on the back. I mean, you have a decent amount of ports on it. I mean, you have a HDMI, you have two USBs, you have an ethernet, and you have a power out port. On the other side, you have two USBs and a headphone jack. I mean, that's pretty good. Plus, the thing's just, it's, it, this is my hand. I, I mean, I, I have pretty average hands, so I mean, that, it's pretty small. So this is it when it's all set up and all looks all fancy and stuff. And, uh, it connects to this really big monitor. And you know, it has all the other details and stuff. So I'm gonna go pass it off to my dad because my dad runs this channel and 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 he's gonna explain, you know, the editing stuff. So I am rendering with my NUC. I wanted to test and see how fast it could produce a video compared to my laptop. Now my laptop is an i7 that has 32 gigs of RAM and a uh, GTX 960 video card. The NUC is an i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and has just an Intel HD video card. So normally it takes me about half the amount of time to render a video as it does to play it. So if in, on my laptop, if I have a 30 minute video, it'll take me about 15 to 17 minutes to render. It looks like with the NUC, because it's not as powerful a machine, that even though I'm doing about an eight minute video, it's gonna probably take me, it's gone down, but I think it's gonna take me around eight minutes, but I'll see at the end. But definitely, it's not quite as fast, but it is doing it, and it did handle it, and it actually edited decent. So, you know, 600 bucks for a NUC or 1200 bucks for the laptop, you know, it's not twice as good. So I, I would say for people who are doing really light uh, amounts of editing, uh, not doing heavy duty 4K stuff, of course, it would be fine. All right, so just finished and it took 9 minutes and 39 seconds to do a uh, 7 minute and 59 second video, which means it was just a little over one for one, which ain't bad. I would consider that doable. I would consider that doable. I would consider that doable. So if you are thinking of doing some videos with a NUC. It is possible, you just have to be more patient. Alrighty then, let's do some testing on this NUC and just see how it handles multiple applications. As you can see, it's running a little hot. I mean, that's normal for this chipset, especially since this is a fanless setup. And you can see the RAM and the uh, board selected and the video card. So all of the information is here. This application is called Specy, and it gives you all the specs of your uh, computer layout. So as you can see here, it gives you more information, it gives you information about the CPU and which, how much each core is expending and how hot they're getting. So as you can see, it's got an i5 in it, and it's pretty much running as expected for a small PC. This is not going to play super intense games, but it will do some minor editing. It will do email and web searches and everything else that you can do on a regular PC for uh, less cost and also less space requirements. So let's launch a web browser and let's just do a speed test to see how it handles 
going on the internet and actually browsing. So let's type in speed test and let's go to the first one on the list and you can see it's coming up. So let's begin the test and as you can see here it's pretty much going to start pinging at about 100 megs. So that's generally what I get on my uh, laptop. I might get a little bit higher on my laptop. Remember my laptop has 32 gigs of RAM and is also running an i7. So this is an i5 with 16 gigs of RAM and it got close to you know uh, 95 megabytes, 93 megabytes um, and it's going to do about five or six up which is generally the same as my laptop. So it's performing as expected. Like I said, you really aren't going to use this thing for games, so everything else should run similar to a standard PC. All right, so let's launch the task manager here and just see how the CPUs and the RAM are handling all of the applications that are currently launched. And as you can see here, 80-90% of your CPU is being utilized uh, on this device. So, once again, it's a small PC. The NUC is really meant for just doing basic, basic work. Uh, if you're going to be launching five, six, seven applications on here, you're going to bog down. You're going to use 100% of your CPU and things are going to happen at a very slow pace. So, I would suggest that uh, maybe for somebody who doesn't have quite enough money to buy a full-fledged PC or a full-size PC or the space requirements that it takes to fit those, then the NUC is a perfect solution for that. I'm doing screen capture, I'm uh, doing Explorer, I'm doing, you know, uh, Task Manager. I'm doing different things on here to see if I can kind of strain the NUC and now I'm launching my web browser and as you can see the NUC is handling this but it's not actually doing it super fast you know it's going to come to a point where you're going to run out of resources and that is one of the downfalls of a NUC I mean it's cheaper it's smaller form factor but you will run into bandwidth issues not network bandwidth issues but bandwidth issues as far as what the CPU and the RAM can actually handle on this unit. Ducks were not designed to do computer intensive graphics or uh, intensive programs in general. If you're doing editing, video design, uh, you know, illustrations a NUC is not for you. This is designed for people who just want to do basic computing, Word docs, uh, internet, uh, web browsing, that sort of thing. If you do too many programs, you're going to run into a big problem. So in my opinion, hey, if you have the money, get a regular computer or get a regular laptop. It'll serve you better in the long run and you'll have a lot more uses. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up, and I will talk at you later. I'm going to get the tech out of here.